Howdy folks, all YouTubers, fellow hams, RVers, and everybody else. Well, this is my new toy. This is the Vivitar Sky Eye View. Well, it's a Vivitar 360 Sky Eye View drone. Yeah. Okay, about 200 bucks at Walmart, including taxes and everything. Um, it's a pretty good size drone. You can see from my hand here. Yeah, it's it's decent size. It's um, made for shooting video, sky eye view. You know, it's, you can tell they sort of thought about that. Uh, it's uh, got GPS for positional lock. You know, to hold its altitude and its position, uh, which is good for photography. Um, big blades, gear driven motors. They're not direct brushless motors. There's actually a gear and a motor. The motor's over here. Uh, so I haven't flown it yet. I'm going to be doing that once the wind calms down. But uh, I'm going to be using it for fun. And uh, maybe occasionally maybe taking a little bit of video B-roll. You know, to show you where I'm at with the uh, RV. The camera. Underneath here. I don't know. Can you see that? There we go. There you go. It's looking at you. Here's the camera. It's a cheesy little camera. Um, it's a fisheye lens. I've found some sample shots online. I'll put one up here so you can see it's a, a very broad fisheye lens. I don't like that. Um, I, you know, I could use that, but I don't like that. So I was looking at this uh, camera mount down here and I was thinking about how I could mount a GoPro under here. I've got a GoPro. I've already measured things and uh, it'll fit up under here with the legs okay. Um, this camera mount, well, let's, let's look at a detail. All right, so this camera mount is a little flat plate and there are four little spongy, um, you can see I'm moving around there. They're little spongy cushion shock absorbers that have these little grommet ends that come up through holes in the plate. And that's what mounts the camera. So I'm going to make a plate with those holes for the spongy stuff and with, in the middle, the three finger um, flange for the GoPro mount, which is pretty common with the GoPro stuff. And then I'll be able to put the GoPro in here in its own plate on these four spongy mounts. And if that fits and works out well, I'll make that part available on Thingiverse. And uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll be able to put a GoPro uh, on this drone. So the first thing I need to do is I need to take this plate off of these little spongy mounts so I can measure it and uh, figure out how far apart these holes have to be, how wide they have to be, how big the plate has to be. And then I can uh, model and on shape the uh, GoPro mount. So that's step one.
pardon the camera audio might be a bit noisy but we're done here is the finished piece and I was just taking my uh, pocket knife here and just gently going around the inside edges to remove any burrs because I don't want this to to cut or um, uh, start a cut in the neoprene shock mounts. I want it to be nice and smooth so I don't damage those mounts. Like right there, there's a burr. So I'm just sort of shaving that down a little bit. Not using much pressure, I just want that to be smooth. Okay, so here is the shock mount. Now these flexible little neoprene shocks have this lip on there. To get this off of the original, I should have filmed it, you put a little pressure on there and you kind of squeeze these in and they pop through the holes. So putting um, putting this one on there is going to be exactly the opposite. I'm going to squeeze these down and try to push them up. Oh yeah, first off, if you look at this thing, see this wider gap here? narrow gap here, wider gap here, that's the front. Um, when this slides up under the drone, this wider gap area is the front. So I want to make sure that this is oriented the right way so that our GoPro will be mounted facing front when we uh, mount it. All right, so let's get these in here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to squeeze this and I'm going to put the edge of it through the hole and then just kind of push it through until it pops in. There, just like that. Look at that. It fits. And we'll do that for all these. Squeeze it, kind of push it through. Kind of just ease it through from the top until it pops in. Squeeze it, push it through. Okay, one to go. Oh, that one's going to be a little tricky. Get in there. Get in there. There we go. All right. So there is... <laughs> drop it. There is our shock mount. GoPro mount for the drone. And it's uh, yeah, got a little give on those shock mounts. So they'll, they'll dampen vibrations. Now, I have 3D printed a thinner, lighter GoPro um, holder that I really like. It's up on Thingiverse. You can find it without much trouble. You know, you just kind of get your GoPro in here, like so, and there we go. We got our GoPro. And this should, which way's the front? That way's the front. Should just slot in there, and it does. Yeah, there's enough clearance to get a screw through, so Put my screw through, put on a nut, you could probably design this with an embedded nut holder or glue a nut on one side of it so you could use the uh, GoPro uh, provided handled screw, but I've, I just use this screw and a nut, I mean it's, it's plenty plenty stiff. I can still pivot it, but you can see that's kind of stiff. So if I want to pivot it down a bit in there, so it'll be kind of looking down and forward when it's on the drone. All right, let's put it on the drone. Let's see how we how our ground clearance looks. i got my drone. So I should be able to just slot that right in. There's our GoPro on the bottom of the drone, and we just, we clear by about a half an inch. Oh, it's perfect. Look at that. We got a GoPro on the bottom of the Vivitar 360 Sky Eye View drone. I would love to go outside and film a flight right now, but, uh, you yeah, know, the winds are, uh, oh gosh, about 20 to 30 mile an hour out here in the desert. You can see the shock mounts doing their thing there. See how that's springy? 
Well, that should be good when we're when we're actually flying. That should actually dampen vibration, so we should get a good clean shot. But there you are. Our GoPro mounted on the bottom of a sky view from Vivitar. I can't wait till the wind dies down so I can go out and fly it. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're not already a subscriber, click to subscribe. Join us on the Facebook channel for discussion about the videos. And if you'd like to help support this channel, please click to support me on my Patreon page.